since 2000. Comerica Park here in the Motor City. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here. And starting in this one, Eric Skubel. Singing, he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Torkelson makes the grab, and there's one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Bo Bichette. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position? Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see is he truly a machine or not the pitch now he breaks his bat throw over to scope nice efficient start to the afternoon that's two out got to feel pretty good for the pitcher absolutely sawed him off bat explodes and then he makes an easy play on it pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball And the batter is George Springer. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location, just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Torkelson picks it up. Out number three. Down in order go the Blue Jays. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Bottom of the first. And today's starter, Kevin Gossman. What should we keep an eye on here? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Bottom of the first. Now here is Javier Baez. Not shortstop. Javier. Baez. And the pitch. This to center field. And that is Springer. And there's one down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat, perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. This is Willie Castro. That one ripped. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, down one out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So first and second with one man gone. And now it's Jonathan Scope. And he lays one down the left side. Slings it across, out on the sack bunt. 
And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Tigers strand a pair. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Matt Chapman. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. Scooble back to work. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Foul ball. And the 2 <laughs> Fought off foul. And a pitch. Got him. And quickly one away in the second. So just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way. But coming from that opposite arm angle, so I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Now it's going to be Bobichet. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Swings through that one, 0-1. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Our play down by Freddie Ferguson. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Here's Guriel. On a line, base hit. So two down now, and here is Alejandro Kirk. And that one fouled off. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Second inning here, no score. On the ground. Sneaks through, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Kevin Biggio, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is that. Blue Jays leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Derek Hill. Here you go. For the Tigers. The center field. The pitch. Swing and a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Not in time. He's safe. Now here is Spencer Torkelson. out to center field and that is Springer brings it in runner tags from third 
He's in on the sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0. Oh, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. That's hard hit on the line. Springer there makes the catch, and there's two away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating That's when you not. can't get it to fall. Maybe the next right time field. off, he'll find a hole. Aaron. Two outs, bases empty. At the play, Eric Haas. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And that is Springer. And that's the inning. We played two full. It's the Tigers one and the Jays nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So the lineup flips over. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's 0 for 1. In there for strike one. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. Stays alive. The punch out there. That's out number two. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Hernandez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next one misses. One ball, one strike. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. go down in order. They still trail 1-0. Back in Comerica Park. The batter now, Javier Baez. Leading up for the Tiger. The shortstop, Javier Baez. Gosman back to work. And that one lifted in the air center field. And George makes the grab, and there's one down. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Austin Meadows now. To the right side. Fires over to Guerrero. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The batter, Fastball nine. grew right down the middle. Second Usually base. a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, bases empty. Willie Castro up now for the Tigers. 
down the right field line. That's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time. It's a double. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. And next to him for Detroit, Jonathan Scope. The first baseman, number seven, Jonathan Scope. In the air to left center. Springer there makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Tigers lead one. They lead it one nothing. to the fourth. Here's George Springer. Leading off for Toronto. The center field is number four. George Springer. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Meadows. Has this one sized up? And there's one down. Next for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, Matt. So digging in, Matt Chapman. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Bichette at the plate with two away, swings through that one. strikes that's the third out nothing doing for the blue jays still behind by a count of one to nothing and welcome back ready to go bottom four and now the switch in a catcher tucker barnhart the catcher tucker the pitch barnhart rips one to right and there's a hit and the leadoff man aboard well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a now good that sound coming field. off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, flipped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's the center fielder, Derek Hill. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Line drive, and George makes the grab. Now batting, third base. Now the third baseman, Spencer Torkelson. <laughs> that one ripped left field. That's back. Banks off the wall. And he's out on the tag. Well, this just can't happen right there. You can't try to score from first base with less than two outs unless you can pretty much walk across the ditch. And to get thrown out like that really throws water on the fire of a rally in this inning. Miguel Cabrera now at the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. Springer there makes the catch, and Cabrera is retired, and that will end the inning. One left for Detroit, but they still lead it one nothing. Ah! Welcome back. Top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. 
And leading it off, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The pitch. Gurriel gets a piece. Wind of the pitch. And down on strikes goes Guriel. And there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Alejandro. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Pitch downstairs, and the count even one and one. And now the lefty. This one popped up right side, and there's two down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Kevin Biggio, next up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at 1. 0 and 2 as he waves at that one. 0-2 oh, now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third out. And that ends the frame. One, two, three. Go the Blue Jays. And it remains 1-0. Back here in Detroit. Stepping in. Eric Haas. Leading up. For the Tiger. The right fielder. Eric. Haas. And the right hater back to work. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. Eric Haas goes deep, third home run of the season, and they add on. It's 2-0. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Now it's Javier Baez. The shortstop. Javier. Baez. Left field way back there. And it's out of here. Javi Baez blasts one out. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here is Austin Meadows. The bat, the left field. Drops a bunt down the first base side. And he handles it himself for the out. The batter, number nine. And next up for the Tigers, Willie Castro. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field, and that one's gone! He circles the bases, and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. So one out, nobody on. And here's the first baseman. Jonathan Scope gets the bunt down the right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Scope gone to the play. Now batting. Catcher. Tucker. Barnhart. Two outs, bases empty. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. And 
first offering is fouled off. Puts a bunt down. Guerrero. And they put the tag on him for the out. They explode with three solo homers in the inning. We're through five. Tigers four, and the Jays nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. And first offering is fouled off. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Up the middle, Castro collects it. Over to first, one up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle end, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Hernandez at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Swing, and he breaks his bat. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Oh, it chewed out. Popped up. Barnhart moving under this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Tigers four, and the Jays nothing. for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Trent Thornton. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, and now Derek Hill. And he deals. Ripped on a line. Guriel makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Hard ground ball, base knock. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Next is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Over to Bichette. Over to first, safe. Right fielder, number 13, Aaron. Ha. Man at first, and now the right fielder, Eric Haas. He's already homered here in this one. Out 
towards left center. Springer on the move. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Javier Baez. Now back, the shortstop, Javier. Baez. This one high in the air to left center. And George makes the grab. Baez gone on the play. And that is that. Tigers strand a pair, but they lead it four to nothing. Top of inning number seven, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. There's a strike. There's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Throws across the diamond. That takes care of Springer. Matt Chapman next up for the Blue Jays. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that's in there for strike one. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Just kept it simple. Played now Pepper bad. with the middle of the infield and took oh. it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. One down. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Swings through that one, 0-1. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is foul back. Chapman stands at first with one out. And down on strikes. Now two out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And it's fouled away. At the belt and fire. Where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's a 1 1. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, that got him on the mound. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. One for two. Bounce to the right. In plenty of time to first, and that is the third out of the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. They're down 4 nothing. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the seventh. Now it's Austin Meadows. Thornton back to work. Ground ball right side. Plays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Oh, you can tell he was stiffing that hit all the way. Great hustle getting down the line. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. And now, Willie Castro. Ground ball could be two. Over to Bichette. Return throw to first, and that's two. I mean, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. 
Guriel handles the chance. And that's the third out. We look ahead to inning number eight. Tigers four and the Jays nothing. We go to the eighth. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. A wide of the pitch. That's a strike. And that's strike one. Here's the 0-2. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Santiago Espinal will hit next. And that one in the air center field. And there are two down. Now batting. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Foul ball. The 0 1. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and fires. That's off the mark, and it's 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Bunch it towards the mound. Fires over to Guerrero. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now the center fielder. So up next, Derek Hill, one for three. That's a laser base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And here is Spencer Torkelson. This one in the air center field. Springer on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now batting, a designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. And next is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Liner, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The right field, number First and second, two down. Eric Haas up now for the Tigers. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. His second home run of the game, and they boost their lead. Take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it off and knew it was gone. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Jimmy Garcia. He's into the game with the bases empty. Back to the top of the lineup. Now at the plate, Javier Baez. Puts a bunt down. Guerrero. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Baez gone on the play. Over to the pitcher, inning over. Three-run shot for the Tigers. Last chance coming up for the Blue Jays. All 
all set to start the ninth in this one. Now the number two hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. That's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And the 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Now, George Springer. In there, and it's 0-1. That one lifted to left. Meadows makes the catch. And there's two down. Up next for the Blue Jays, the third baseman. Matt. And now it's going to be Matt Chapman. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Just one out away, try to close it out. And down on strikes, ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us.